Yo, the Purple Banditos, I'm Purple Rodri, and welcome to my analysis of the newest trailer of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire that just premiered during the Nintendo Direct for E3. As you can see, it's showing us the Hoenn region, and it looks quite beautiful. If you just take a look at it, it already, right away, you can tell that there's going to be so many changes coming with this game, and I think it's just going to be an exciting time and a good time to jump into the Hoenn region if you haven't already. Now, I don't expect it to look exactly like this right here, but I think it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. Let's continue going then, and here is where our trainer, our trailer analysis will begin. It looks like the starters are back, and it also looks like this game is actually going to be a lot like X and Y. It looks like they've gone ahead and took that format. Now, I actually wasn't too sure if it was going to be a top-down perspective or 3d like x and y i did want it to be like x and y because i didn't want them to have to go back you know after giving us such an amazing and beautiful game and i'm actually glad that they've kept it this way now as you guys also know they've gone ahead and remade the trainers the trainers look a little bit different looks like our guy got a haircut but all in all it's still very similar it still looks like you know pretty much what they used to there's the three starters it looks like an amazing beautiful game it almost even looks higher quality than x and y does which is really really cool another thing right here is you can tell that our gym leaders have also been changed a little bit it looks like roxanne's art has been redone it looks like the gyms are going to be a little bit different and it's going to be pretty fun i'm actually really excited to see all the changes that come with it let's see what else we have going on here as you can see it looks like our guy is going to be running around with shorts. There's the boat, which I'm guessing we're going to be taking across all the different regions. I'm guessing this is the boat that takes us to Slateport and all the other different places. So I think it'll be really cool to actually get the chance to, you know, go into the oceans of Hoenn uh, and see what else we bump into. Over here, you can see that there's Fortree City. Now, it looks really, really good. I know that Fortree City is one of my... You know, I'd say one of my top five favorite towns in Hoenn. So I'm actually really excited to go back there. And it just already looks so much different. Especially since I'm playing like Emerald now. Looking at this, it just looks completely amazing. And I can't wait to see what else comes with it. Right here, you can see that it's Cycling Road. So Cycling Road has gotten a bit of a remake. You can also see the route down there, which you take to make it to Mauville City, if I'm correct. It looks really, really good. They've really stepped it up. And it's just going to keep going up from here. Let's see what else we have going on. All right, so we see a first gym here. I'm actually not too sure which gym this is. I, if I'm correct, I think this is the Moss Deep Gym. I think this is the Moss Deep Gym. I'm not too sure. It looks a little bit different. And, you know, once you go into a 3D perspective, it changes a little bit. But it also looks like, you know, the gyms are going to be different. I'm expecting the puzzles to probably get upgraded a little bit. And just for it to have an overall better experience because it is such a drastic change. Now, let's see what else we have. It looks like we have another gym right here. And if I'm correct, this is actually the Lavender Gym. So the Lavender Gym is also getting a bit of a remake. It looks a little bit different, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. It does look quite great still, though, so let's continue on with this trailer and see what else we can bump ourselves into. Looks right here like we're talking to Steven, and as you guys know, they're going to upgrade, you know, not just the region, not just the Pokemon, but they're going to add in Mega Evolution. It looks like Steven's actually talking about Mega Evolution in this. So I'm going to head and assume that since Steven, you know, is the champion in Ruby and Sapphire, he's also also going to be the champion in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now, you guys know that we have the Mega Ring and those sorts of things that help us Mega Evolve. And if you look at Steven's right hand, it looks like he's wearing something there. And my guess is that that's probably the Mega Ring. So I'm guessing he's going to have some crazy evolution. Uh, I've heard rumors of a Charizard X uh, or sorts of things like that. But we'll see what comes with it. Let's see what else we have over here in this trailer. All right, so it looks like the Magma... And Aqua Layers have also gone ahead and gotten a huge remake. They look quite different. It looks like Team Magma is almost going to be the intellects, while Aqua is going to be brute force. And I think that's something that can be verified here by looking at Archie and Maxi. Like, they look completely different. You know, when you played uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, you didn't see that much of a difference in them. But now, you can tell that, like, you know, look at the difference. Maxi over here is, like, a genius. And Archie is just some brute force. He's still got the little Hulk Hogan stash going on. So it looks like they are going to change them up quite a bit. But I think that's a really good change. And a change that's going to be awesome. There's our trainers. So not only the boy trainer, but the girl trainer have also been changed. 
As you can tell, they're wearing the Mega Ring. They have the bracelet on, so they are both going to be able to, you know, do the Mega Evolutions, which leads me to the point that I've been looking most forward to right here, and that is the Mega Evolutions of our three starter Pokemon. So that's really cool. It looks like we're finally going to have the Hoenn starters also having Mega Evolutions. It's not just going to be Kanto anymore, so it's going to be really, really great. I've heard a lot of great things from everyone, mostly people talking about how Swampert went to a gym and got really swole, but with that, that's pretty much the analysis of this trailer um, it's going to be really really great they just look absolutely amazing I can't wait to actually see all this in action and just to put it together make sure you guys give this video a like I hope you've enjoyed it uh, I hope you now have a good time with it as you can see right here though it also looks like our two legendaries have some weird form of evolution I heard it's called primal I don't know too much about it, but I know that it might be something that really steps up the game and it kind of changes things up a little bit. I think it's going to be a blast to finally get the chance to play this region, and I'm just really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really great time, and I'm just excited to dwell into Hoenn, find out all the mysteries, and see what happens. It comes out November 21st, so like I said, make sure you guys give this video a like. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know, and I might do some more trailer analysis or things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.